How to increase FPS in League of Legends. So for the first couple of steps I'm going to show you how to increase FPS specifically in League of Legends and then after that I'm going to show you how to increase FPS in general. So the first thing that you want to do is open up the start menu and type in graphics. Now from here make sure that this is on, go to browse and find your League of Legends game. How you're gonna find this is by right clicking this icon right here, going into open file location, go back one folder and here click League of Legends and you should have League Client right here and if you go to the game folder you should have League of Legends right here. So let's say I want to have both of these. Here I am at the League of Legends folder. I'm just gonna add this and I already added this one right here. So this is the path to that one. As you can see, you go to the game folder and this is that. I already have it added. After you've done that, the next thing that you want to do is go to the file location again. Like that. Scroll down to the League Client, right click, go to Properties compatibility make sure disable full screen optimizations is checked and do the same thing with this application right here now what's bottlenecking your performance it is most probably either your gpu or cpu so the way that you would increase the CPU usage is by going into the start menu and type in power plan and click choose a power plan. From here, click change plan settings, change advanced uh, power settings. Scroll down until you see processor power management. Go to maximum processor state and make sure that this is at 100%. Or what you can do is just click here and go to ultimate performance. However, let's say you have a lot of background processing that your CPU needs to go through or you don't have enough RAM, for example. Well, if you open up task manager by pressing CTRL shift and ESC at the same time, you can see all of the processes that are running currently. If we go to performance, you can see the exact number and it's 103 for me. Now I am running a lot of stuff in the background, but with a normal Windows 10, this these processes could be even double that idle. So if that's the case, I win area tweaker. Now what win area tweaker is gonna give you is a way to disable Cortana, which is something that no one uses and it just takes up CPU. You can stop Microsoft Edge from running in the background, which also causes heavy load on your CPU. You can also do a lot of cool things with this program and stop a lot of background processes that you don't need. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, see you in the next video.